Hey, this is Cody the Coin Raptor, and welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about how you can make hundreds of dollars off of credit cards. But before I do that, it's important to give a quick disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. This video is purely for entertainment and educational purposes. The methods that I'm going to point out to you are effective in scoring you some extra cash. However, you must first understand that credit cards can be dangerous. When it comes to paying with credit cards, you should always make sure to pay off the debt every month before the incurring interest charges. These charges will negate any earnings made off the money off of these cards. It is extremely helpful if you set up an auto pay to automatically pay off the credit card at the end of the month. That way you don't forget and you will not get charged with any interest. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the different kinds of credit cards. First and foremost, they're the cash back cards. Cards which give you a fixed percent as cash back redeemable into a bank account or a statement credit. Next, there are travel cards which reward you with points instead of cash. These kinds of credit cards can be more rewarding as the points values are not fixed. The value of these points can depend entirely on when you, where you spend them and can be transferred to credit card partners to increase their value. As an example, I used Chase Ultimate Rewards points to transfer to Hyatt Hotels to book a hotel in Vegas during the NFL draft for 8,000 points per night. This breaks out to $80 a night and also does not include any resort fees or taxes because you're paying with points. By comparison, other hotels were charging hundreds of dollars per night and with resort fees and taxes. This wouldn't work with every single credit card company's reward system because everyone has a separate list of affiliated partners that you can transfer to. And you can find that information on websites like The Points Guy. ThePointsGuy.com I use ThePointsGuy.com a lot when I'm searching for the best deals possible with the rewards points that I have. So in order to find that, you'd first go over to Points and Miles and then go to Point Valuations. And then from here, it's going to take you to their article on what the points and miles are actually worth. Now you can see here that there's a program and then there is a number and that number is basically what the point is worth per cent. All right. So you can figure out also which uh, rewards program has which affiliate partners that you can transfer those points to. Next, we must also talk about annual fees. Some credit card companies charge an annual fee in order to use their card. These fees can lead to greater perks and more money saved depending on your usage of the card. They can include perks like airport lounge access, trip insurance, credits for TSA pre-check, or a concierge service. You can use a site like nerdwallet.com to compare credit cards and bonus offers. Here you can see the annual fees, the credit card score typically required, and the APR charged for each card. And it just lists them out like this. You can just look at all these ones. And they also have some good information here on some recommendations for the card depending on what you use it for. You can also use a website like thepointscalculator.com to figure out if the annual fees are worth it depending on your spending. Here you can enter in the estimated spending for each category and it will generate a rewards amount. All you have to do is go to the credit card finder tool on their front page, click on that, and then from there you can enter in the specific amount of spending that you will be spending uh, either monthly or yearly. And then from there you come down and you hit search for the best cards and that will give you a list of the best cards and the most points or rewards that you can generate spending in those specific categories. Next, I also have to talk to you about one of the most important parts of the strategy, using intro offers. Intro offers are given to new card applicants and allow for a bonus offer if a certain amount of money is spent during a certain time. For instance, the Chase Sapphire Preferred card will give you 60,000 bonus points if you spend $4,000 in purchases in the first three months from an account opening. If you redeem those points purely for cash, it's going to be equivalent to about a $600 reward because the Chase points are redeemable for one cent per every one point. 
Or alternatively, you can redeem those points for 25% more value on Chase's travel portal. The goal here is to not spend more, but instead just to spend what you would normally spend if you weren't using a credit card. So if you don't think you can match the $4,000 requirement in three months, don't get the card. Now, another of the best resources I found for taking advantage of these intro offers is the R churning subreddit. Here they have a flow chart that gives you recommendations based on, uh, based on offers and what you qualify for. So all you have to do is come on here to R churning and then click on the credit card recommendation flow chart. And I click on the HTML version. And this is what pops up here. You have the entirety of this flow chart. And so you start from the top here and then you work your way down depending on what you're looking for, travel or cashback, and whether or not you're under this 524 rule, which essentially is a restriction that prevents you from opening so many chase cards and being able to go and redeem all of the intro offers. So if you play your cards right and are responsible with their usage, you can get fantastic rewards and save a ton of money using these credit cards. All of these website addresses will be in the video description. Thank you for your time. If you like this content, please check out some of my other videos that have to do with finances and crypto. This is Cody the Coin Raptor, signing out.